hello everyone welcome back to another video today's topic is how we can generate sitemaps in laravel 11 to do that we need a laravel latest version which is 11 we need to install it with the command on our laptop so let's go to the hurt folder in my case it is a hurt folder but you can put the project as you want Let's paste it and we can change the project name as well. It will install the framework. So let's go to the folder and open the project in uh, vs code i use vs code for all my projects most of the times you can choose your favorite editor now go to the env file and edit the app url and uh, uncomment the database things and add record information so SQLite will be replaced by MySQL host and port are remain same and need to change the DB name username will remain same and have to add the password also so let's copy the DB name and let's create a DB in PHP my admin and the name will be Laravel sitemap go to the terminal and run the php artisan migrate command it will migrate the table into the db so let's get back to the browser to check if it has worked properly or not yeah it's worked properly okay fine So suppose we need to create a block service for generating and storing the dummy data into the block table. So with this command, we will be able to create the block model, resource route, migration file, etc. So this is our migration file and I am going to add more fields to the table. Copy this line and change this to a string and name will be URL and uh, second one is the description so now let's go to model and write the mandatory things on the model like protected fillable the fields so now we need a route for a sitemap where we can see the blocks and the URL will be sitemap.xml and let's call the controller and its method Uh, let's go to the block controller but uh, before we need to make a factory and cedar file for generating the dummy data
So let's call the block model to connect with the database. And uh, here we need to generate the dummy data with the help of Faker. It will create uh, 30 dummy data for now. Uh, let's uh, run the migrate command. And in the block table, we can find the data which is generated perfectly. Uh, we don't need those functions now. So we can remove those. And we only need an index method. And in this method, let's call all the post on this post variable and return all the data in index file or uh, XML format. So now let's go to the views folder which is under the resource folder and create index.blade.php file and write this code.
or I will give the project repo link in the comment section. You can find the repo in the comment section. Oh, let's fix this. Okay, let's go to the browser and add a route URL after the base URL and the URL is sitemap.xml you can see that all posts are available in this sitemap. Uh, in this file, you can uh, set the priority 
to 1.0 and also change the frequently to weekly to daily so this is it for today if you find the video helpful then please let me know in the comment section and also and also you can follow me on the social media handles which are mentioned in the description so until the next video arrives till then goodbye